alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for coming out today. I'm a proud Muslim female who wears hijab. I grew up wearing hijab. It's part of my culture, my identity. I'm from Morocco. I've been here for almost 30 years. I survived the first Gulf War, 91, and all the armed conflict area in Middle East. Look at me, I wear many scarves and hats. I'm always, if there is a problem in the East, I'm Middle Eastern. If there isn't a problem in Muslim in America, I'm Muslim. So female who wear hijab are easy target for hate crime, either verbal or physical. It's sign that we should really hold our heads up. Yes. This is who we are. Yes. We cannot change our color. We cannot change our identity. And this is the freedom of choice. Yes. The freedom of religion. A movement who stole the choice. This is the real choice we should to be talking about. The freedom of religion. The freedom to wear what you want. It's a fundamental human right. It's very sad in this era that we have to fear for our lives just because we wear a headscarf or we speak a different language. That's right. Somebody can, can get easily intimidated because you speak a foreign language he doesn't understand or he doesn't like. Because we have a president who set up high standards for hate and racism. Mm. Donald Trump made me very, very fearful for my life when I grew up here enjoying my activism, enjoying my ups and downs as, as, a, an, as an immigrant. Too bad that all wonderful values that the founding fathers have set up for this country are in trouble, right. are in danger. And it's time that we have to really, all Muslim females, in 91 I did a survey with 500 females from different ethnicity, different um, religious backgrounds. Every female who wears hijab in the United States, and somebody please stand up if, if I'm wrong, has encountered a verbal hate crime. Somehow with verbal, dirty looks, the middle finger, being told to go back to her country. And unfortunately like me, it has become a daily struggle that I've learned to live with. I don't have to learn to live, to live with. Right. I don't have to take it in right. and accept and say, I'm not going to allow this stranger no, to ruin my day. But he, he ruined my day. He belittled me. I've been kicked in the subway when, when the door is open, so I have no proof. I called the police numerous times. Not one time somebody hold that stranger or my own neighbor mm -hmm. for 20 years accountable. It's time we change the law. I was recently a victim of a vicious attack. It was not taken as a hate crime. It's time to change the law. You need to be beaten up to death. You need to that person to admit or do, do the assault in front of an officer. And emotional pain is not even considered. That belittling, that to make you look like you're nothing in, in this country because you look different. It does affect you emotionally and psychologically. It does kill your self-worth and self-respect. It's time I call on on all female who wear hijab. Please, as a community activist and a human rights activist, please fight strategically. Let's report, let's speak up and stand up. And thank you all for coming here. It means a lot, even a small crowd. But I can see a lot of goodness in everyone who come here and made the effort to celebrate this wonderful day. We thank the administration of our wonderful mayor who has stood up for New York, who has stood up and claimed New York as, as a section we state. We should really be grateful for that. The fight continues. We have to be proud. Look, we come in different colors and That's shapes. Right. Islam is beautiful. Yes. Islam respect and, and, and accept different cultures. I don't have to cover the same way. I'm from Morocco, I cover in a way. She's from Bangladesh, someone else from, from Latin America. Islam embraces different cultures. That's right. That's embraced and respected. So we all cover and wear hijab in different ways and colors and we're proud and beautiful wearing it. And who doesn't wear it as the same, they have the same right. They have the same right. Thank you so much. My name is Suwak Kirama. I'm a, sorry, introduction comes later. I'm a community <laughs> activist and founder and director of uh, New Horizons for Advocacy and Development. Thank you so much.
ITV, Call of Peace, Save Humanity.